Hello everyone. I hope you are having an amazing day. Welcome to the Just Recap channel, and today I have a science fiction psychological thriller movie. Spoiler warning. Please help us out by liking this video and subscribing if you want more videos like this one. Michelle peers out of her window in the film's opening scene. She's having an argument with someone over the phone. After that, Michelle begins to gather her possessions and prepares to leave her house. Michelle heads out of the city and into the countryside. Ben, her ex-boyfriend, kept calling her. She responds, but only to let him rant about how sorry he is and why she shouldn't just walk away from him without saying goodbye. Michelle ends the call. Ben calls again, and Michelle's car is smashed by a truck after she takes her eyes off the road for a split second. Upon regaining consciousness, Michelle finds herself in a tiny concrete room with a saline drip in her arm, her head cut still open and her leg chained. She gasps in terror as she realizes that her leg is tied to a pipe. So, she gets her saline drip pole and somehow she still has her phone with her, she calls for assistance with it. However, no reception. The door to the room is opened by someone who comes down the hall. Howard is his name. He claims to have saved Michelle's life after her car accident, and he's doing his best to keep her alive as a result. After the vehicle accident, Howard gives Michelle a pair of wooden crutches and urges her to get good on those as he leaves the room. As Howard left, Michelle begins to carve the tip of one of her crutches. Howard comes back a little while later, and Michelle tries to stab him with the sharpened crutch. He takes her and puts her under anesthesia right away. Upon her return to consciousness again, Howard calmly informs Michelle that he has transported her down to the bunker beneath his farm, since the air on the surface has become uninhabitable following an attack. There is something going on outside, so Howard leads Michelle up to the airlock and lets her look. Nothing seems out of the ordinary, but Michelle remembers Howard's truck from the accident because of the red paint on the side. Howard is about to scream at someone off-camera with a loud voice. Leaving the room, Michelle comes upon Emmett, a younger man. As compared to Howard, Emmett looks more approachable. When Emmett swears that he saw the attack happen, he's not exaggerating. He claims to have witnessed a red flash and he rushed to get into the bunker. Howard invites Michelle and Emmett to supper as if they were part of his extended family. When Emmett and Michelle have a flirtatious talk, Howard retaliates with a sneer. He expresses his displeasure with their actions and cautions them both. Michelle tries to flee by stealing Howard's keys when he's not looking. A rumbling erupts overhead, causing everyone to be distracted, but providing Michelle the opportunity to slam a beer bottle over Howard's head. She makes a run for the air vent and makes an attempt to escape. Howard pleads with Michelle not to leave the room. Cars arrive, and Suzanne Cryer is seen pleading for entry, but her skin is plainly disfigured as a result of a recent illness. Howard tells Michelle to keep this woman out of their house. As she becomes increasingly upset, the lady begins bashing her head against the door's glass. Michelle begins to pay attention to Howard's warnings of a chemical weapon strike. A sincere apology and an admission of guilt are exchanged. He then instructs Michelle to sew up the laceration on his head caused by the shattered bottle. Over the course of the following several days, the trio becomes closer and begins to function as a cohesive unit in the concrete bunker. Howard allows Michelle to use his daughter Megan's misplaced clothing. He shares a photo of Megan with Michelle and tells her about her. When Michelle and Emmett get together, they talk about how scared he was to leave town to play sports for a university. Michelle remembers one time when she saw a father abuse his daughter in a hardware store. Because of her own troubled past, Michelle didn't intervene. When the air filtering system fails only Michelle is small enough to squeeze between the vents and enter the filtration chamber. However, as she resets the unit, she finds a ladder that leads to the outdoors, right under a window. The word help have bloodstained scratch on the window. When Michelle looks down, she sees two bloodied earrings that she remembers from a photo of Megan. To Emmett, she shows him the image, and he tells her that she looks like Brittany, a former student of his from high school. The two recognize that Howard is dangerous, and they need to leave. Using Howard's equipment, Michelle and Emmett construct a biohazard suit and a gas mask. Howard finds out about his missing equipment, uses a container of pyloric acid that he had handy to dispose of it, and asks where his gun is. Emmett claims he did it so that Michelle would appreciate him the way Howard does. Afterward, Howard shoots Emmett in the head. Michelle completes the biohazard suit. 
A container of acid is thrown at Howard, causing him to fall face first. A fire is started when acid eats through an electrical wire. A food shell falls on Howard when he chases Michelle. She makes her way to the filtering chamber by clambering up the vents. Howard uses a knife to pierce the air vents. He tries to hold on to Michelle, but she hits his palm so hard that it rips it apart. As the fire begins to spread, it takes up the entire bunker. After putting on her gas mask and suit, Michelle prepares to escape. The sun is shining, and all appears to be well. She walks up to Howard's truck when she sees it. She panics when she accidentally rips her homemade hazmat suit, but she swiftly fixes it with the duct tape she packed. In the end, she removes the mask and takes a deep breath of fresh air. She sees what she believes to be a helicopter in the distance while perched on Howard's vehicle. The craft's attention is drawn to an explosion in the bunker. Michelle begins to suspect it's an enormous extraterrestrial hovercraft as it gets closer. Something falls on the ground, and then the vehicle veers away. To her frustration, Michelle discovers there are no keys in the truck when she gets inside. At this point, she realizes where the car is and dashes after it. She tries to get into the car, but the alarm goes off, and the lights begin to flash. There is a strange thing on the ground, and Michelle goes back to the wooden hut for safety. In the distance, she spots an extraterrestrial entity raising a vehicle. The wooden hut is then attacked. Michelle tries to locate the dead woman's vehicle keys. Suddenly, an extraterrestrial begins peeking out as she discovers the keys. Michelle deactivates the car alarm by pointing the key at the vehicle. The extraterrestrial turn and exits the barn. The alien monster pursues her as she escapes the flap door of her own will to a neighboring farmhouse. The big alien craft arrives behind her as she gets closer to the front of the home, and the extraterrestrial monster flees. Slowly rising, the object makes its way toward Michelle, dispersing a poisonous green vapor. On returning to the truck, Michelle puts the mask back on. As it gets closer to her, the spaceship takes up the vehicle and moves it closer to its gaping jaws. To build a Molotov cocktail, Michelle uses a magazine, a lighter, and a whiskey bottle she found in the vehicle. She ignites it and throws it into the creature's mouth as soon as she can. It detonates, causing the vehicle to plummet to the earth. Michelle, who is still alive, returns to the automobile. She gets in the car, cranks it up, and takes off down the highway. In the mailbox at Howard's address, 10 Cloverfield Lane. The narrator states that we have retaken the southern seaboard and that anybody looking for a safe haven should come to Baton Rouge, while those with combat or medical training should head to Houston. A road sign points motorists either straight into Baton Rouge or left toward Houston, and Michelle arrives at the latter. Michelle decides to take a turn. A thunderclap reveals an alien hovercraft in the sky as she travels there.